What is up guys, today I'm going to be talking about the BlackBerry Classics trackpad and how it works, what's the benefits of it and if it's any good or should BlackBerry completely abandon this for their line. So to begin with, uh, BlackBerry decided to come back with their trackpad. Um, at first I was a bit hesitant to the idea of it. Uh, I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't for it, but after about a couple months of actually thinking it true when I came back to my old BlackBerry uh, device, and when I say my old BlackBerry device, I mean like my uh, BlackBerry Bold uh, 9700 and 9780, like this series itself. Like, I really like this. Uh, so first thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, the trackpad is smaller than seen on the BlackBerry 9900 or uh, as seen on a BlackBerry 9700 or the Torch or the Bold or whatever device you were thinking about. It's a lot smaller. I have to say that. Um, it's not backlit illuminated. What I mean by that, uh, that's actually a silver accent. So firstly, you could uh, launch the screen or open the screen by simply pressing the button as the home button, uh, like similar to the iPhone uh, and some Android devices that has a home button, so like the Samsung S5. Or you could uh, also hit U and enter to unlock the phone. So I'm going to show some gaming, some navigation of the UI, uh, some web browsing, how it actually works with pictures, how it actually works with the hub. So firstly, you can navigate the UI as seen previously with uh, other BlackBerry devices. So you could scroll up or down uh, off the home page, if you want to call it, or you could just swipe over. Um, additionally, you could go all the way up to the settings menu and then tap down and then bring down the set settings options that you might want and then you could quickly uh, navigate. Uh, it's very accurate in terms of like actually moving and navigating uh, the UI, which quite frankly is something that I'm quite proud of to say. Uh, initially I was expecting it to be not that good. It's pretty uh, accurate when navigating, like you could uh, navigate short bursts or you could just go small and you could see how like I'm going really fast or I'm going really slow. It's very accurate when navigating the UI. The next thing I'm going to show you is uh, something that everyone who has a classic should know about and that's basically uh, adjusting the sensitivity to it. So you want to go into settings. Under settings you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to see something under something called languages and input. Uh, this option right here. You're going to click and open languages and input. You're going to scroll all the way down. And when you're scrolling down, you're going to see trackpad sensitivity. This is something that everyone should adjust and fiddle with uh, as soon as they get their classic. But it's going to make them a lot more uh, efficient and better with working with the with the classic. So if you want to change this, you could use your hand or you could just simply press the button and then scroll it up or scroll it down and then scroll down as well. So. Navigation of the UI is pretty nice, and then you could adjust the settings. So Let's go to uh, the weather app. So, um, you might wonder how could I get like uh, the drop down menu. So, most times, uh, BlackBerry is built into their native apps. All you gotta do is just swipe straight up to the top, and then you could pull it down. But for certain apps, like let's say the weather app that I'm showing you right now, you can't really get that setting. But what you could do is probably use the BlackBerry button, which brings up the side overlay menu and then you could get the settings down there. So as you can see, it's sort of efficient, but it's not really that efficient because you have to hit the button and scroll all the way down to settings versus you could just like, if you if you have long enough hands, you could just swipe down for the top and get that settings or the refresh menu, uh, whatever button you're looking for. So, so one thing I'm gonna show you about Facebook is if you keep scrolling down on Facebook, you could do it in short bursts and you can see it's better accuracy. So you could select on certain things, like when you're scrolling, you go from uh, the, from the top page where you could click basically all the clickable items you scroll down and then if you really want to go fast you just swipe down really fast or you could swipe up really fast just to move up or left or right of the UI. Now for Twitter it's actually I'm gonna say that it's actually quite unique because uh, if you would like to refresh uh, the black the Twitter feed all you got to do is just hit T and then you can quickly navigate with the buttons or you could if you want to go really slow you could go really slow and read through the feed you know, at a pretty fast rate. And I guess like you gotta move your finger more and more on a trackpad, 
which what some people might say is actually what's going to tire out your finger, but I don't think it's going to tire it out at all. So as you can see, you can move really fast down a Twitter hub, but it sort of takes a really long while to load, and that's a really down. That's a big downside actually. So that's Twitter uh, for the BlackBerry. Class. Now I was asked about Instagram, how it actually looks and how it scrolls and stuff like that, because it's an Android app and it's not really natively built for BlackBerry. Well, there is a native uh, built version of Instagram for BlackBerry, but this is a uh, Instagram APK. So let's look how it actually goes. Um, so you could see uh, sometimes like the trackpad like for 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 Instagram particularly uh, you can't really use the trackpad at all to move left or right. Uh, when Sometimes when you try to scroll it usually goes back up but you can't really scroll down the actual hub. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to like my best you can see I'm pressing it and it's not even scrolling. So this is what I call uh, I don't wanna say the sh shadow errors but the dark errors of the trackpad uh, at Android. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't work and gaming then, on the BlackBerry Classic using the trackpad. So firstly, it's a hit and miss with some apps. Some apps works really beautiful with the trackpad, but what I've noticed was most of them don't. <laughs> Unless it's built for BlackBerry, most developers for their app have integrated uh, the trackpad. But what I've noticed with most APKs, like I said, is you, you can't really use the trackpad. I'm going to show you as is. This is uh, Subway Surfer, you can see I'm trying to move left, trying to move left, right, I can't do it. So I have to use a touch screen for that. And there's no problem with that because uh, with BlackBerry now, what they have done with the whole UI and the OS itself, if I'm gonna pause the game, I'm gonna show it to you, you could swipe down from the top and adjust the size of the screen to whatever uh, dimensions you would like it to fit. So it's a lot nicer. Uh, that being said, um, I usually stick with the size, but the trackpad doesn't work. And it doesn't work for Subway Surfer, it doesn't work uh, for Beach Bucky Blitz. Only natively built BlackBerry 10 apps actually work with uh, the gameplay. So that's that's gameplay for BlackBerry 10. So let's quickly move on to navigating uh, the browser, which is I think is the most important bit. So firstly, the moment you... So I'm going to look at TMZ. It's a really heavy website uh, to load. So first thing that I'm going to show you guys is uh, you get this little uh, finger, as you guys can see. And this finger or pointer or the cursor usually is used for navigating. But if you want to copy a picture, what you do is simply... Uh, hold down the home button. With BlackBerry 10 what they have done is you get like the overlay uh, coming over and that way you can see exactly your options from copy link straight down to save the image if you want. And like I said, very rarely I actually touch the, the, the actual touch screen. So if I wanted to copy this, all I gotta do is scroll down and hit the copy or save the picture. And uh, it's pretty fast. It's so now some shortcuts that I'm gonna quickly show you guys. Uh, with the trackpad, you still have all the really good, cool shortcuts for adding and deleting and copying and stuff like that. So if we were to hit this button right here, that you can see the shift button, I believe it's called, I'm not sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so you could quickly use a shift button and then scroll up to quickly uh, delete and clean up the hub, which is a really good thing and I really like that. I quite enjoy that actually. Uh, additionally, to cut and copy. So this works if you're on the website as well. So I'm just gonna use it from the hub because most people, they usually cut and copy stuff from, the e from emails. If you wanna copy, all you gotta do is just highlight what you want and let's hit car classic. And then you could, if you move slowly enough, you could get it exactly what you want. And then you wait for it to appear. It usually takes about two seconds to get these uh, little options here for copy and for uh, select all and share. So you hit copy. And then now to paste it right here, all you got to do really hit the BlackBerry button or uh, hit the three buttons right there. Scroll all the way down, hit more, and then hit paste. Uh, sometimes it pops up automatically where you are. Uh, to paste stuff, it really depends, but most time it doesn't, so you have to do that a long way to get the paste done. Now, one more thing that I'm going to show you guys, and this is the very last bit, uh, it's the camera uh, and the trackpad and how you actually use it, and I think this is very important that I need to cover, uh, so here we go. So this is how the camera looks, the camera interface for uh, the BlackBerry Classic. You can't, however, uh, move the focus as you can see, the focus is, let's say the focus is here. You can't really move the focus with the trackpad. 
which is quite understandable and uh, I totally get that. Um, but you can use the trackpad to navigate and move around for different options such as switching the camera to the front facing camera or switching it to video or even going in under settings to adjust stuff. And it's actually quite accurate if you want it like do the pinpoint accuracy. So it's very accurate. Um, and then you could obviously hit, so let's say the focus is there. Um, usually most time you just hit the button right there. So let's say this is the focus right here. All you gotta do, you remain on a camera, you hold it down and it actually grabs the focus for you. And then when you release the button, it actually takes a picture. Um, so that was a really poorly, that was a really poor situation that I used just now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the BlackBerry Classic and I'm going to demonstrate it taking a photo with this. So you can see there's some good contrast points as you can see. The camera already grabbed focus on its own. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down that button, you see, and it's going to grab the focus itself. And once you have the focus, you release. So it actually works as though you have a really good focus and you could always get a really sharp photo using this uh, trackpad uh, versus, you know, you hitting the button here and then uh, you hitting the button or what you could do is go to the picture that you want let's say this one and this is a picture that I took about well in this video it's gonna be in the future but uh, as you can see the trackpad actually navigates and works with uh, scrolling of the UI and that's pretty good because uh, compared to the BlackBerry Passport which had that touchscreen overlay keyboard you don't you can't really swipe left and right so uh, it's, it's nice to see that they integrated this with the trackpad. And like I said, if you wanted to go into, uh, uh, to get some editing options or to share this photo, all you gotta do is either touch the touch screen and it appears pretty fast, which I think is the better option. But uh, if you don't wanna touch the touch screen, you could always hit the BlackBerry button right there and then you bring up the overlay menu. Uh, this is different because in the old OS, it usually p appears right here versus in the new OS, it appears on the sideline. Also, one more thing that you guys need to know, uh, previously with the old OS, when you double tap or you tap once into a picture, it would zoom in. Um, with the new uh, BlackBerry OS, that's not possible. You can't really zoom in um, for some reason, and uh, that's that's normal. But like I said, there's a touch screen. So all you gotta do now is uh, put your two fingers on the phone and grab it and zoom in with your fingers. So for me, I actually really enjoy using the trackpad. It's quite sensitive, it's quite accurate. It has some limitations where you can't uh, do certain things in apps like quickly go to the settings from the top, quickly access the address bar to change or to search or to search for new tabs. Um, you could use a tool belt, I know. Um, but uh, as you can see, it's really well integrated. But if you're coming from OS 7 to like the new uh, BlackBerry 10 OS, um, the, the, the leap or the gap that you have to jump now uh, is actually quite small because most of the things you could do by just simply using a tool belt and that's where the tool belt comes in. Uh, one application that I'm going to see for the trackpad is uh, maybe they could probably put uh, capacitive touch buttons here. I don't know, maybe I'm asking for too much, you guys let me know. The trackpad should be a little bit larger, but after about a week or so, I don't really notice that it's that small. Um, that being said, I want to let you guys know that uh, I really did enjoy using the trackpad, and I think uh, they should probably integrate the trackpad with like larger devices, especially for that camera focused feature. Uh, I can actually see that being quite a useful feature in the BlackBerry uh, Passport, uh, which is quite large and you can't really get focused because it's such a big two-handed device that if you use, let's say, the, 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 the trackpad, you could grab focus really easily. So this was the trackpad for the BlackBerry Classic. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please give a big thumbs up. I know I spend a lot of time talking, so sorry about that. Uh, check out my unboxing. Check out how to get the Google Play Store. My classic review is going to be filmed and edited pretty soon. Um, plus, I got a bunch more other comparisons coming up. See you guys next video. Bye.